Welcome to Jess Explore. This video is our two-day trip to Enniscorthy, located in the heart of County Wexford. For this trip, we chose to go by bus and it took us about two hours to get there. The day was rather gloomy, but oh well, Irish weather is unpredictable. The town is located on the banks of the River Slaney, overlooked by a majestic Norman castle and under the Vinegar Hill. These are few snippets of the town we captured right as we got there. This is a stunning one-bedroom apartment we had booked for the stay and it was about 15 minutes from the town centre. Of all the places we had stayed, this was the absolute best. The link for the accommodation is in the description if you want to check it out. There was an Indian store right opposite to this property. The rainy evening called for noodles and we got some from there and enjoyed it. Since it was a Saturday evening, we decided to go for the Vigil Mass at St. Aidan's Cathedral. The cathedral, built in 1843, was designed by Augustus Welby, who was synonymous with the revival of Gothic architecture and famous for having designed London's House of Parliament. After mass, we stepped into Anarkali for dinner. The food was surprisingly quite good in comparison to several Indian restaurants in Dublin. We went back to the room after dinner and decided to enjoy the rest of the day watching a movie. We left our accommodation at around 11 the next morning. We went to a breakfast place called The Pantry and had a full Irish breakfast and pancakes and we were out and about on our exploration of the town. The first place we came across was St. Mary's Church of Ireland. There was a service going on, we did not want to stay long as we felt we were interrupting. Further down the road was Enniscorthy Castle. We followed the footsteps of the Anglo-Norman Knights and Gaelic Irish Kings. There are several exhibitions that follow the history of the castle from the Middle Ages to its use as a family home until the 1950s. The exhibitions provide glimpses into the everyday lives of people who lived around the castle through the centuries. There is access to the rooftop of the castle, however, it is restricted. The staff managing the castle will take you to the top of the castle every one hour. From the castle, we walked down to the National 1798 Rebellion Centre. The centre highlights the historic events of the spring and summer of 1798, when the people of Wexford made a valiant effort to overthrow the English rule. The multi-sensory exhibition offers an insight into the heroic events of the rebellion. It was time for us to head back to Dublin. We walked along the banks of the River Slaney from the Rebellion Centre towards our bus stop. The day was sunny and the place was worth the visit. And there you go, another place on a wall of memories.